Okay, I'm going to try to do a yield to maturity calculation using the HP 12C. Um, so I've got a bond with a price of $94.17. Uh, the coupon payment, um, the, um, the maturity is uh, eight years away. Uh, the coupons are $3.50 in a 16 half semi-annual payment. Um, the nominal yield on the bond is 7% uh, um, per annum or 3.5% per half year and uh, by a process of trial and error I'm going to try to find the yield to maturity at the discounted price of uh, $94.17 so the process we're going to follow in the calculator entries are uh, $94.17 change sign for a negative cash flow, G cash flow zero. Uh, 350 G cash flow J for the for the first cash flow, and we're going to repeat this 15 times. So 15 G N the number of uh, flows. Uh, so N of J. Um, and the last cash flow will be the hundred dollar par value plus the 350 coupon uh, so 13350 g cash flow j making it the 16th cash flow and then we're going to test three interest rates so i'm going to test for um, three three percent five percent and four percent by trial and error so um this is half semi-annual so this is this is per period n of 16 period and since the original yield was 3.5 percent per half year and the bond is trading at a discount we ought to expect that the yield is higher than 3.5 percent and, the, and therefore higher than three percent but we don't know how much higher we don't know whether it's four percent or five percent but we know that it ought to be higher than three, so let's try it. Try it on the calculator. Okay. So uh, ninety-four. So let's clear register. Ninety-four seventeen. Change sign. Uh, G cash flow zero. Three fifty. Positive cash flow one. Going to repeat this 15 times. Um, 15 of n. Then the uh, the final cash flow will be 103.50. Uh, this into the 16th cash flow, and we're going to discount this at an interest rate of three. So this works out to F net present value 12, a positive value of 12. So this means that we're under discounting, so the, the, um, the yield is higher. We know that the yield is higher than 3% because um, the bond still offers a, a net value of, of $12 after discounting for 3%. So let's try that again with a 5%. I shouldn't have cleared that. I should have just changed the, the interest rate. Uh, 5%. So 94.17 change sign cash flow zero, 3.5 cash flow one repeated 15 times. Uh, final cash flow 103.5. Net present value negative ten dollars. So uh, an interest rate of five percent discounted. We're over discounting, so we know. We know that the yield to maturity is below 5%. So this time I'm, I'm, own, I'm going to leave everything else in the memory and I'm going to only change the, uh, the interest rate to 4%. I'll just calculate again. All right, so uh, $0.004 leaves us basically with a net present value of, of zero, which means that the yield to maturity is exactly 4%.